why are we afraid of failure? It's one thing to fail and it's another thing to be afraid of failure. Eh? Fear of failure is one of the most self-sabotaging, crippling feelings that we can experience. But why does it have such a powerful impact on us that it can make us stop chasing our dreams, avoid starting new relationships and be so hypervigilant all the time? Welcome to anti Learners channel. I'm Vasily Salandopoulou and I'm a licensed psychologist working with people who want to build stronger mental health learn about the mysteries of the human psyche and build healthy mental foundations for their life. In my channel, I share tips and advice from the world of psychology. And through my videos, I answer all your questions about mental health, relationships, and mental well-being. Today, we will be talking about failure and more specifically about fear of failure. And at this point, we need to clarify this. When we say fear of failure, we don't only mean that someone is afraid of the possibility of not achieving the desired result for a big idea or a big project. For example, if you go, you're afraid of going bankrupt or failing in your marriage or getting fired. Think smaller. People with fear of failure are also afraid of making a small mistake, having a setback or being humiliated in front of others or not knowing an answer or forgetting a name or an answer, or even admitting that they don't know something in front of others. And some people are experiencing fear of failure with specific situations like public speaking, for example, and some others, they experience it in every little decision that they need to make. So do you see how stressful fear of failure can be? But where did fear of failure come from? How did it all start? How did we become so terrified to fail, considering the fact that failure is an unavoidable part of life? How come we're so scared of it and nobody has escaped it? And ideally, we should be more used to experiencing in our life. How do we have a completely different idea about failure? Well, the main reason why failure is viewed as such a nightmare <laughs> is because of the beliefs we have about it beliefs that have been instilled in our minds since our, since our childhood years, and we still carry them around. These beliefs were said or maybe implied either by our parents or by our teachers, or they're about how we made sense about life when people were experiencing failure around us. They also derived from personal experiences of failure and the emotional baggage that they left behind. For example, if we gave the wrong answer to a teacher's question and then our peers started bullying us because of that, it makes sense why we are afraid to make a mistake or give the wrong information to anyone who might be asking us, even now in our adult years. Do you see the connection? To give you an example about what I mean with beliefs about failure, there was a study in a school, high school in New Zealand, where students were asked about how they view failure. The students were divided into overachievers and underachievers. In other words, students with high performance and students with low performance. Uh, indeed, it was found that students with high performance had a different view on failure from those with low performance. Interesting, right? The overachievers believe that failure is something temporary. And it happens once, and when it happens, you just stand up and you move on. While the, over, the underachievers believe that failure is permanent, it stays with you forever. The overachievers believe that failure is feedback about what's going wrong, or what you need to change, or what you need to do differently next time, or whether you're going towards the right direction. But underachievers believe that failure is criticism, not feedback, criticism. And therefore, you can understand why overachievers believe that failure says something about the task, while the underachievers believe that failure says something about them and their personality. So now I think you can understand why we're petrified of failure, why failure seems such an overwhelming experience to go through. And we would do anything to avoid that from happening in our lives. Now, 
Let's see more of these beliefs that we have acquired in our life in regards to failure. What is it that we believe about us, about our future, about the people around us when failure knocks on our door? So, as we said before, we believe that faith is permanent. I don't know where we learn that, but we think that it's permanent. It's Everybody will remember our moment of failure and we will be forever stigmatized of that single event. Also, we believe that people will be talking behind our back about our failure. And usually we visualize that these people are authority figures. For example, our parents or our boss that will be disappointed or people with more experience than us that they will be talking about us because we value their opinion. And hence, we don't want them to see us fail. We also believe that it's a shame to fail and we will be deeply ashamed of who we are if we fail. And that is happening because our failure is attached to our identity. And I guess it will not come as a surprise to you to hear that when people fail, they believe that all the previous successes, victories, and achievements are instantly erased. And we believe that people will not remember us for what we have achieved, that they will remember us only for what we have failed for. And they will immediately dismiss our journey so far. Do you want to hear more about what we believe about failure? Well, sometimes we believe that we are doomed to fail all the time. Once a failure, always a failure, we say. And we also believe that failure will make us unworthy of any chance for success because since you fail, it means that you don't deserve success anymore. We believe that if we fail, people will be disappointed, upset, angry, and they will not like us anymore. And our relationships will change or even stop to exist. Do you hear the irrationality of these beliefs? Eh? When you say them out loud, you can hear that this cannot be true. Wait, I have more. We also believe that if we fail, then probably we deserved it because this is what happens to people who are not competent enough, smart enough, important enough, whatever not enough you believe about yourself. We also believe that we failed because we didn't try hard enough, even though that's not the case many times. It is possible that we have done our best, but the conditions that led to the final failing result were beyond our control. We also believe that if you fail, then your whole life after that failure will be an unsuccessful, miserable, below average life. I remember in my school years how our teachers and our parents used to terrify us saying that we always have to take an A and be successful in our academic performance, otherwise our future career will be doomed, destroyed. And that overgeneralized threat was so scary for us back then. We also believe that if we fail, we don't deserve to be respected. We suddenly become category B people. We don't deserve respect anymore. We also believe that success is a linear process, a straight line with no setbacks and no doubts. If you start something new, then you should have only successes and certainty in your way. And no failing is anticipated. What an unrealistic, distorted idea. We also believe that failure is for people who are not good enough in what they do or they're not meant to do what they're doing, even though this is crazily wrong. We also believe that if you make a mistake or you make the wrong decision, then you're stuck with it forever, as if you cannot change your mind. Do you see how many wrong beliefs we have about failure? And we call them limiting beliefs because actually they limit our potential. They restrain our hopes, our dreams, and our future, our decisions towards a desired destination. So the most important reason for being afraid is not failure itself, but our perspective on failure. That's the message that I want to convey in this video. But of course, there are many other reasons why we're afraid of failure. 
And one of them is the fact that we never learned how to deal, actually deal with failure. We never learn how to stand up after we fall down and how to learn the lesson that comes out of this failing experience and how to turn it from a mistake to an opportunity, from a blockage to an alternative route. That's something that they should be teaching at school. That's a, a, a useful course. And last but not least, we are afraid of failure and we avoid it as much as possible because we know what will follow up after that failure moment. Our self-esteem will be damaged. We will feel sad and disappointed. We will doubt about our skills or even our decisions. We will feel ashamed and maybe we will feel hopeless and trapped. But we don't know that this is normal and this is okay to happen after failure. It happens to everybody. But it only lasts momentarily or a couple of hours or a couple of days. And then, of course, our survival mechanisms will take over, will be summed up again in order to, for us to find another way to go about. Fear of failure is normal. Fear is a self-protective mechanism. Thank God we are afraid. If we were not afraid, we would do dangerous things. We would do risky things, not only for our career, but also for our relationships and for our own life. So being scared is okay. And we should anticipate a degree of fear every time we are about to step outside of our comfort zone. And every time we are about to do something important for us. What we should change is the way we view fear. And especially if it's sabotaging us from going after our dreams and anything that would make our life more meaningful and joyful and fulfilling. So let's see failure through the right filter from now on and through some more realistic perspective, which is that failure is temporary failure. Failure is not about your personality. Failure is not shame. Failure doesn't mean you deserve it. Failure is feedback for what we are now dealing with. And present failure doesn't define future success. These are your new healthy beliefs. What are your beliefs about failure? I'm really interested and curious. And where have you learned them from? I would love to hear your experience and your views about failure and even your journey in regards to fear of failure, please share with me and with others in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope it gave you some inspiration and insights in regards to a very normal fear, fear of failure. Fear of failure is highly related with perfectionism. So check in the description box, my guide, how much of a perfectionist you are and see whether you are also a perfectionist and that's why you are so afraid of failure. Goodbye for now and see you in my next video. Take good care of yourself.